My journey all around Cebu Island has brought me to the northernmost end of this beautiful island. I'm almost there according to Google Maps. It's one minute away. And yeah, there's a little village here. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it's not really a touristy area here. I feel like the northern part of the island is way less touristy than the southern part. I'm here around the northern part for a few days now and I haven't seen another westerner yet. Du hast das Ziel erreicht, which means you have reached your destination. The place is called Sunflower Public Beach. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, maybe you remember a few episodes ago I uh, showed you the southernmost point of this island. So of course I also want to check out the northernmost end. Oh, there's a little shop here. Let's see if I can park my bike somewhere here so we can have a look around. Hello. Can I park my motorbike here? Can I park the bike here? Yeah? Okay. I don't really think it's a beach where you can go swimming. Looks like uh, there are many rocks over there. But we are here to see the northernmost part of the island. Not here to go swimming. But yeah, in case you wonder it, how the northernmost end of Cebu Island looks like, this is it. We have some, some cliffs over there. And you hear the sound of the ocean. That actually sounds very relaxing, right? Some chickens in the background. Hello. Is there a shop I can buy a drink? I can buy something to drink? Yeah? Okay. The faces of the people look very surprised. Probably not many Western tourists come to this area. <laughs> Hello, come on, stop, stop, stop. I come in peace. Okay. Uh, do you have cool drinks? Uh, red horse. Uh, no, no beer, no alcohol. No, no alcohol. You have um, something, something sweet and cold. Uh, I can, I can have a look here. Okay, okay. okay. Let's see what you have here. We have this one. Oh, this is beer, right? <laughs> yeah. But only 6%. Only 6%? Three. <laughs> oh, only, this one only 3. Uh, 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 3, you mean 3, right? I uh, 3. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't want beer because okay, I, I'm driving, I'm driving. Look, this one. Uh, you have chocolate? Yeah. It's chocolate, right? Oh. Chocolate, um, chocolate shake. We have one liter bottles of red horse here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I take the Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Yeah. How much is the Mountain Dew? Only 25. 25 pesos, okay. Else. Okay. You have squid here? <laughs> what is this? Um, ah, snacks. Huh? Mm. Some chocolate. Okay. Mm. Ah, this one uh, I had for morning. What is the name again? Pan... Uh, Francis? It's okay, something no. with P, right? Pandesa? Pandesa. 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 I remember I had this in the morning at actually mm -hmm. uh, my hotel. Mm -hmm. It's like little bread rolls. Mm -hmm. Filipino, typical Filipino uh, breakfast. breakfast. Bread, yeah, okay. With coffee. <laughs> with coffee. Mm -hmm. What is this here? It's a... Bread also. But also bread? No, also bread. But uh, sweet? No. No sweet? No sweet. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm too tall for your stall. Look how, how tall I am and how low is hanging here. <laughs> okay, I think just the Mountain View. 25? I have 50 pesos. Okay. This is uh, the northernmost end of Cebu Island, right? The, the northern end of Cebu, right? You, you you go Roro? Roro? Uh -uh. What is Roro? Roro port? Oh no, I don't want to go to the port. Uh, no, no, I just want to see the northern end of the island. Okay. Because this but is the north. If you go Roro port, you, you look white. Uh, it looks more beautiful there? Oh, ah, the, the new or the old port? Uh, the new. The new port. Okay. Uh, you, you, know, you know how to Tagalog? Uh, no. Only like a few uh, words. Okay. But I'm happy to learn. I would like to learn more. more. Okay. Mm -mm. You, you go the street. Uh huh. Mm. You. <laughs> you mean like there's a big main road mm -mm. and then left, left right? Oh, left. Mm -hmm. No, le left. 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 Okay. Only that. 
You can go that Roro, new Roro part. Okay, and there's a new part and mm -hmm. nice view. Mm, nice view. Okay, then uh, we will check that out okay. as well. Okay, this is your little shop here. Okay. <laughs> oh, like a 7-Eleven, a village 7-Eleven. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. salamat. Oh, salamat, Sam. Oh, let me uh, try not to uh, run Friendly over the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. hello. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, lovely little uh, village shop here. Um, okay. Yeah, there are two ports here. I read about an old and a new port. And you can use these ports to go over to some islands. There are some islands around here, like an island in front of the Cebu Island. <laughs> but I'm not really planning to do that. But uh, she said there's a nice view, so let's check it out. But first, let me actually uh, try Mountain Dew, a drink that we don't have in Germany as far as I remember. But uh, I tried it actually before here in the Philippines. It's, in case you don't know, a little bit similar like Sprite, but I would say more sweet. But sweet and cold drinks are very refreshing. And I have the feeling the past days, it's getting really hot here in the Philippines. The past days, I think were the hottest days since I arrived here. So uh, you can imagine how hot it is. As soon as I get off, off the bike with the long sleeves and everything, oh, so refreshment much needed. All right, let's explore a little bit around the, the northern part of the island here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, this must be a very uh, local village here. I don't think that there are hotels here. Or actually, I think there are some hotels around the port. Because, yeah, like I said, you can use the port to uh, hop over to some nearby islands. And I think uh, there are some hotels. Hello. Our little guest houses next to the port for tourists that want to hop on an, on a boat the next morning. Oh, check this out. Oh, I think they are drying coconuts here. This looks like coconuts here. So it looks like they are drying it here on the on the street. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Is this a coconut? Oh, hello. You want to say hello? Oh. <laughs> Oh. It's coconut. It's coconut. Yeah, for drinking uh, oil. Why, why do you dry it? Yeah. What do you dry it for? For cooking oil. For cooking oil. Ah. ah, she said for cooking oil. So they make cooking oil uh, out of the dried coconuts here. That's interesting. Okay, that was the first time I saw coconuts being uh, dried on the street. Maybe some of you remember my Sri Lankan series earlier this year where I found uh, some people drying rice on the street. That was also interesting to see. I also saw uh, fish being dried on streets, shrimps. I saw that in Malaysia, for example. Rice in Sri Lanka and here they dry coconut on the streets. But yeah, why not? The streets are probably the best place to dry something uh, quick because the streets heat up a lot. So uh, seems to make sense. Um, okay, let's see if we can find this port. Oh, I think it's already over there. You see the big sign, welcome to Port of Maya. Let's see if the, if the view is nice as the lady in the shop uh, earlier told us. Hello. Oh, I just want to have a look. Just want to see. I don't want to take a ferry. 10 pesos? I, I don't want to park here. I just want to have a look and then I come back. Yeah. Just two minutes. 10 pesos? Okay. Let's see if I have some pesos. You're not going to cross the island? No, I just want to have a look at the ocean. I don't want to take a, take a boat. Uh, 10 pesos. Where have you Cebu City or what? Oh, I travel all around Cebu Island. So, I think this is as far as we can go. Yeah, there's a ferry here. Actually, there are many islands surrounding here. I mean, it's is the Philippines. The whole country is uh, basically uh, on the islands. <laughs> but um, yeah, clear water here. Okay, now we have seen the southernmost part of Cebu and the northernmost part. So I'm currently following this guy here. 
and he has a little bell riding through the village ringing the bell i think he is selling ice cream to be honest and uh, i'm actually keen for some ice cream let's see if we can maybe get an ice cream from him oh there's another bike coming excuse me do you have ice cream you sell ice cream oh can i get ice cream then oh yeah okay Ah, he does sell ice cream, okay. Okay, what, what do you have here? What flavor? Manga. Manga? Mm. Mango? Mm. Ah, okay. Ah, you come in uh, perfect. I just thought, oh, so hot today, ice cream would be nice. And then I see you riding around around here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so much. Uh, how much you get? 10 pesos. 10 pesos? No, 10. Let me see, I think I have, uh, I have 20 here. Mm. That's okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, so much. Mm. So you're driving around the villages and selling ice cream? Mm. Oh, okay. okay. So he has this little motorbike here and then attached the little uh, side here, Spell, which... Uh, uh... <laughs> yeah, how do you call this in English? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, the little uh, side of the motorbike here, ah. driving around the villages and selling ice cream. Let me taste it. Delicious. Dirty mm. ice cream. You call it dirty ice cream, right? No, dirty ice cream. <laughs> but it's not dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, very good. Lami. Lami. No, Lami. Very good. Salamat. Oh. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Mm. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> How random was that? Stopping the ice cream man here in the middle of the road somewhere in the village and getting some delicious ice cream. And look at this. He was actually pretty... Uh, um, how do you say that in English? Generous, put on a lot of ice cream and he just wanted to have 10 pesos, so I think that's a fair price. Oh, you hear all the chickens in the background? <laughs> oh, welcome to rural Philippines. I love the village vibes. Chickens everywhere. Oh, actually, check it out how many chickens we have here. Hmm. Check it out. What is this place? You see all the chickens here? And looks like every single chicken here has their own little house. Like a little hut. And I think every chicken is uh, tied to the hut so they can't run or fly away. Huh. I'm wondering what this place is. Maybe we can find out. Um, I know that cockfighting is is a thing is popular here so maybe these are cockfighting chickens and this is like a cockfighting farm or something oh no do you know good morning good morning good afternoon, oh, good afternoon already i'm wondering what what is this place because i see all the chickens have a house what, what is this place my 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 mother my mother <laughs> <laughs> you is it like you. a like a chicken farm? Municipality oh. by my sister, my mother. Yeah, but uh, is, are these cockfighting chickens mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. fighting? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. So it is uh, a place for cockfighting mm -hmm. chickens. Ah, okay. So uh, the place here organize a uh, chicken fight. Mm -hmm. Fight, yeah. Okay, yeah. She's doing this fighting, fighting. Okay. Ah, okay. And uh, what what day is chicken fights? I'm 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 husband. I heard before that it's usually my, every Sunday. Husband is my kanang daughter. Yeah. Coming up to it. Uh huh. To it. It. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean uh, the the chicken fighting. Is it like every Sunday, every Saturday? Not every one. Sunday. Or only one no a month? No Sunday, karang sa Saturday. Every Saturday? Every Saturday. Chicken every fight day. here? Oh, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday. Ah, Sunday, Saturday. So every weekend. Okay, okay. Kuan kanang. Ah, okay. Derby? Sunday. Sunday. I'm I'm sorry, can I talk? Husband is my daughter. The husband of your daughter, yeah. Oh. Okay. 
So I think uh, the husband of the daughter is the organizer or the owner of the chicken. Mm. Ah, okay, okay. It's it coming, it's coming. Uh -huh. To abroad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sunday. Sunday. Kuan kanang. <laughs> kanang <laughs> usab na usab. Kanang manok dito mag kanang usab na derby, derby. Derby. Oh, derby. Chicken derby. Yes, yeah, chicken derby. I, I wonder how it works. Like, you fight against another village. Um, like um sir i don't know how to speak English. yeah no problem no problem my english also not perfect uh, i'm from germany ah you you're from here okay okay ah yeah yeah i'm wondering how it works with the chicken fights like do you fight against chickens from other villages like in like in football for example where you have teams from each city and then they play against each other if you know more about that uh, please feel free to let me know i'm happy to learn oh okay okay we have a little shop here. Mm. Oh. My sister. Your sister shop, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh, yeah, little village shop here. Okay, thank you so much. Salam Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. okay. <laughs> okay, we did find out that these are indeed cockfighting chickens. I'm actually, um, yeah, I know many people out there would say that Cockfighting is not an ethical thing to do. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't uh, watch cockfighting. Uh, it shouldn't happen, but uh, I'm not here to judge about the people, their culture and what they do. I'm here to, uh, to learn and to observe and to uh, film it and show it to you guys. So I'm actually curious to maybe visit chicken fights. I don't know. Should I visit them? Would it be okay to film it? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not here to judge about these things. I'm here to uh, learn and experience. So let me know in the comment section if uh, I should try to visit chicken fights or if that's something that you totally don't want to see here. I'm also like not sure about that. Should I do it or not? But anyway, we do have uh, chickens for chicken fights here. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. I'm actually trying to reach a little town, which is uh, going to be my uh, destination for today. But yeah, it's like an hour away from here, so let's hit the road. You know what's actually cool here? This is a very rural area, but the condition of the road is excellent. Look at this. It's very easy and convenient to ride along here, despite being a very local and rural area. So I'm really amazed by that. Actually, the roads have been pretty good all around Cebu. There were some roads in the, in the southern part of the island that were not that good, which is surprisingly because that is the, the tourist area and the roads there were sometimes not in a good condition. But I would say 80% of the roads around Cebu are really in a good condition. Like this, perfect road to drive here. Huh. People... Uh, Walking around with a little bull here. Oh, that's a big bull. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah. Yeah, village vibes. Very uh, interesting to experience, to see, to ride through here. So many children on the streets playing around. Hello. <laughs> Smiling, saying hello. Nice vibes here, awesome. Oh, there's a lot of smoke over here. Do you see that? I'm wondering what's going on here. Oh. I think they are just a... Uh... Hello. Is this your fire? <laughs> oh, there are some aunties over there behind the smoke. I think they are just burning some, uh, some rubbish from the garden. Looks like they just cut the grass here. Ah. Hello, hello, Kamustaka. <laughs> ah. Yeah, just burning some. Uh... Ah, hello. <laughs> Actually, especially in the evenings, I uh, see that a lot in these rural villages that people burn uh, just something by the side of the road. I think usually they burn their, their trash, their rubbish in the evening. That also happens in villages in Thailand, in Malaysia, in Sri Lanka. I saw that all around Southeast Asia that yeah, I think it's because 
in these rural villages they don't really have a how do you describe that in English like a, a system where there are trucks coming by picking up the, the trash you know so I think most people in these villages actually just burn their trash and especially in the evenings you see that a lot in these villages so it seems to be pretty common oh there's loud music here <laughs> Maybe a little village party at 3 p.m. in the afternoon on a regular weekday. What day is today? I think Wednesday or Tuesday. Wow. Check out the view here, guys. Isn't that amazing? Bro, I just drove by this road here. Hello. <laughs> And I saw this amazing view, so I had to make a U-turn to uh, check out this road. Oh my god. The northern part of Cebu Island really is beautiful. Oh, there's a little cow here, actually two. Oh, oh hello. Ah, oh, there's somebody living here. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Ah, there was an old lady. I'm, I'm sure if the, the camera uh, was in the right angle, but there was an old lady sitting there and I think she wanted to tell me that if I continue, there's something nice to see or something beautiful. So let's just continue the road here. Yeah, it's uh, off the main road now, but oh my god, <laughs> this is links up again. No, I don't want to links up again. Which means turn left. Turn left where? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I have to say the scenery here looks so different from what I've seen in the rest of Cebu Island. Like we have green little mountains here but a lot of open space areas. Dem Streckenverlauf 800 Meter folgen. Oh, you're learning some German while watching my videos. <laughs> yeah, my GPS is in German, not in English. Google Maps, that's the German Google Maps voice. Ah, okay, let's see where we end up here on this road. Oh, the road is getting interesting here. Oh, I think there's somebody living here. Hello. <laughs> Oh, this is as rural as it can get, I think. Huh. There's no main road here or anything else. Oh, this looks like a basketball uh, court here. <laughs> Guys, I have no idea where I am. I'm just following the road because the lady over there told me that I should do that. Oh, check this out. There's a little puppy here. Hello, girl. Hello, little guy. Um, I'm not sure if I'm like on someone's backyard now. Let me have a quick look on Google Maps. So according to Google Maps, like, yeah, Google Maps is derouting me now. Um, yeah, so where am I? Not sure where I am now, but uh, let me continue a little bit. <laughs> um, I don't want to accidentally drive into someone's backyard, you know, so I'm a little bit careful now because I'm not sure if this is a proper road where I can drive on, you know. Maybe I can ask someone. Oh. Hello. Hi. I'm Mustaka. Oh, I don't understand that. <laughs> uh, can I continue here? La Puc. La Puc? Mm. What is La Puc? Uh, like that. Because my, my Google Maps say I can go here. Para, para asa ka pa doon, Kapotata Norte. Oh, I don't understand that. <laughs> uh, um, where can, are you can, going? Uh, Google Maps. You can, you can see. Uh, I want to go to Bago. Bogo. 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 Yeah. 
So I can continue here. Bugo, no. No. Back to the main road. The main road, ah. then straight. And then right. Yeah, that's where I'm coming from. So here, cannot? No. 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 Better go back. Very with mm, like that. Ah, the road is like this. Not good. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. So better go back to the main road. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay. Then go straight. 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 Uh -huh. to okay, okay. Okay. Salamat sa. Salamat. Okay. <laughs> Salamat sa. Salamat sa. Do you you live here? Yes. What is the the name of this place? Ah, uh, Setio Concepcion. Setio Concepcion. Panugnawan. Panugnawan. Okay. Uh, I see it's uh, very beautiful here. Ah. Uh, uh, over there the views. Are we looking? It looks very beautiful. Um, so I was wondering if it's more beautiful over there. No, you cannot no. see. You cannot more, see anymore okay. because it's. Uh, uh -huh. It's uh, too low. Ah. ah, I think uh, because we have like little mountains over there. Ah. So it's better to see over there. Mm, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, I can turn around here? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Salamat. Salamat. Okay. All right, let me turn around. Okay, nice to meet Bye. you. Bye bye. <laughs> Now, always uh, friendly people here. When I can give you one traveling advice, no matter where you're going to, always make sure to also visit the rural part of the countries that you visit. I can guarantee you that will make your experience in the country much better than just staying in tourist areas or in hotel resorts. And sometimes I get the question or the comment, uh, isn't it dangerous to travel in rural areas? I traveled in rural areas in Thailand, in Malaysia, Vietnam, Sri Lanka. And I can really say 100% I haven't had one single bad experience anywhere in rural Southeast Asia. Uh, it has always been a nice experience. So make sure to visit rural areas of the countries that you visit. Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah. I can guarantee you that you will have good experiences. And that's the place. But the rural areas are the places where you really get to know the country, the culture, the people. So, uh, yeah, highly recommend that. But okay, then let's uh, go back where we came from. Maybe let me make a stop at one uh, viewpoint where we can have a proper view over the area. Oh, chickens running around. <laughs> Yeah, I think what the lady wanted to say is that the views here are better because yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit hilly here. I wouldn't really call this a mountain, but uh, from up there, we have a view over the, the whole area here. I think that's what the lady wanted to uh, tell me. Okay, let's make a little stop here because I think this is the point where we can have the best view. Oh, okay, everything's safe. Um, so, where I'm just coming from is down there, so you drive a little bit up, coming back here, and that is the main road where I'm coming from, and if I turn right there, then I'm back on track to the, to the little town where I want to end up today. But yeah, overlooking the scenery here, we have the ocean in the background, so this is really a very beautiful part of Cebu Island, the northernmost area. I would say it's probably even more beautiful than the southern part if you uh, don't think about the ocean like just the the scenery here of the of the nature not talking about the ocean i think uh, yeah the nature scenery here is more beautiful in the north than it is in the south actually hi. hello <laughs> ah she said hi vlog uh, hello girl <laughs> it's so funny that everyone in the philippines uh, knows what a vlogger is That's the first time I am in a country where really everyone that sees my camera knows what I'm doing. Uh, so I guess the Philippines, I really like watching vloggers. Everyone here knows what a vlogger is. All right, I came to a little town called Ogo and I'm trying to get a hotel here now. I haven't booked a hotel yet, but I spoke with one place earlier today on Facebook. Just ask if they have a room and what's the price. But I haven't booked it yet, 
So let's see if I uh, actually like the place. Sometimes I like to have a look at the rooms first before I book them because this place didn't have many recent reviews that I could uh, read and judge from. So I think it's here. All right. Oh, can I park here on a steep place like this? Oh. Oh, I hope it's open. The place looks actually closed. All right, let's see if there's somebody here to speak to. Ah, Heck Rich Apartel. Hello, good afternoon. I'm looking for a room to stay. Uh, I, I, I spoke with you earlier on Facebook today. And uh, you said you have different rooms here. Ah, okay, sir. What, uh, is it possible to see the rooms? Oh, okay, sir. And then I can uh, choose one. I will see Oh, thank you. Ah. She uh, closed the door behind me and locked it. What is that meaning? <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, it looks nice here with all the flowers. If I remember correctly what they told me on Facebook, it's that there was ground floor rooms here and then up the stairs as well. But I think the ground floor are the bigger ones. Our ground floor, sir, is 1,400. 1,400? Yes, But the ground floor is bigger than upstairs? Yes, sir. Okay, let's have a look. Smells a little bit uh, uh, not, not so nice in here. The one who used this tree is smoking inside. Smoking inside? Yes, sir. You have a room that smells better? I like I like the size of the room, but the smell is not good. Mm -hmm. You have another room? Yes, sir. Okay, let's check out another room then. All right. No? But I think it's okay. How is the, the Wi-Fi here? Sorry? You have Wi-Fi here? Yes, we have. Is it good quality or so-so? Ah, -so? uh, yes, sir. It's good? Mm. Okay. Um, so this one is 1,400? Sir? 1,400? Yes, sir. And up, upstairs? And upstairs, sir, is... Uh, there is a 1,000, but for two and, and one, two. Can I, can but I, small Smaller? Size, uh, can small I see size. upstairs as well? Upstairs, sir. Yeah, let's uh, compare the upstairs one. Actually, this one is okay. Okay, let's see upstairs and then I decide. All right, long story short, I decided to take a room on the upper floor because it smells way better here than the room downstairs. And yeah, this room is 1,200 pesos for the night, which is definitely the lowest amount of money I ever paid for a hotel room here in the Philippines. So it's yeah, kind of basic, but all I need for tonight, I only need a place to sleep. And then tomorrow morning, I'm actually heading back towards Cebu City. So I have a little uh, room here, two beds, bathroom like this, shower, toilet, sink. Basic, but yeah, all I need, even a little uh, place here where I could do some work. I might do that later as well. So yeah, interesting journey today into the rural parts of northern Cebu. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. And if you haven't seen the previous video from the Cebu road trip, then check it out right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.